All right, fellas, let's keep this short. I want to have a fucking good time, man. What is life? Like some drinks right now, and get the fuck out of here. As long as you've been doing this, man, I mean, you've been It's fucking for a long amazing, time. man. You know, people know me everywhere I go. I go to get coffee somewhere. And 45 minutes, I get held up, you know. I'm being sarcastic, obviously. I don't like the 45 minutes of, of anywhere I go now, I get held up. But it's cool, man. I've been doing this for a long time. This is one equation of it. The other equation is my next paycheck is going to reflect the breakthrough that I've done. Right. For a fact. And if it doesn't, it's going to be a fucking problem, man. What is the stand of that? Because you made it clear. Tyler Shotter, Connor, Dana seems to think that those aren't the cards right now. There's something else needs to be on the table. So where does that lead you? That leads me to, I'm a, me and my management are going to do whatever the fuck I say. That's what it leads me to do. Easy, right? Can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that again. Me and my management will do whatever the fuck we think is the best option for us. You know, without a doubt. If they open up the checkbook, I will fight King Kong in his prime. All they got to do is open up that checkbook. As you guys all know, the reason why you guys are here right now is to get an interview off me, to put it online, to make people go clickbait on it. Obviously, I'm generating traction. That paycheck, I got to get it, man. I got to get it. If why not, did that change all of a sudden, man? You've been doing this for so long, and now you're right. You're one of the biggest stars in the sport as of this year, no question. What happened? That's an understatement. <laughs> uh, what happened? I don't know, a lot of things happen, but besides uh, God aligning things for me, people like sheer violence. I'm gonna just keep giving it to them as much as I can. That's it. You know, because I want to create this buzz so the paychecks align with it. I'm gonna keep hurting people, Mike Tyson style. Get them out of there quick, you know? Is there a date you want to fight? Yeah. Yeah, the, the date that has the most zeros attached to that check. That's the date. Is it tomorrow in the parking lot or December? Doesn't matter to me. Just line them up and get these zeros to the checks. Let's go. When was the last time you talked to Colby Covington? I don't, I don't, I haven't talked to Colby in over a year, like a conversation on the phone or nothing. I see him at the gym, yo, what's up, what's up? That's about it, man. Yeah. How are you robbing these Kobe, you know, he likes to take his other shots. He knows never in his life have I been a superhero. I would love to be, but I've, I've never been a superhero. I'm more of a gooned out motherfucker, so Kobe kind of has to slow down at some point because. You know, he knows I'm not a superhero, more of like a super goon and shit, you know, at least in the real life shit, you know? What if the biggest numbers come with his name attached? <laughs> when you guys train together, is there something you can take from that? The, I, don't, I don't really talk about training ever, I've never have. I've, I come from the gym with the most wealth and talent. Numerous guys go through those doors, end up in other gyms because they can't hack it. I don't even bring those guys' name up in, in training and stuff. Um, we've had some great sessions, though, I'll tell you that much. Were you expecting him to do what he did to Rami in that fight? He really, like, outpaced him the entire fight. He outpaced him, and he out-wrestled him, as I thought. You know, I, I, I trained with all of them, you know. Robbie, if he could crack him early on, could hurt him. But I knew that the longer it went, it would definitely go Kobe's route. Yeah. You guys are kind of polar opposites, in a way, in terms of your personalities, but yet you guys still, you know, from a long time have had a friendship. Is that, is that weird to kind of have a friendship with him like that? Uh, nah, not really, man. I mean, we we know we're both gonna fight, so it's not like we kick it on the regular or nothing, you know. And I mean, even if we were brothers, if if the money is right, it's just a fight. Nobody's gonna die. What the fuck, you know? Why do we sign up here for? But to high five and shit and fucking yo, I was number one, you were number two, whatever. No, I signed up to be number one, and that's it. But enough of other people's questions, or for real, I'll leave. If Leon questions, Ben questions. I just get out. I'm here to do my questions, man. So be mindful. Be mindful to your teammates because I get the fuck out. We start asking questions about other people. I ain't here for other people. I'm here for. I just did. Playboy. No more interruptions. <laughs> Who is this guy, man? I mean, what's the perfect scenario, though? If you could name a date, an opponent, and it's the biggest check possible, what is the number one thing you would do in the most fight for you? There's a lot of routes you go with that. Kamal Usman because he has the belt, but if it's not Kamal, whoever has the belt, you know? Kobe and Kamal go at it. Kobe has a bell after. It's him. If they say McGregor, McGregor above all for now because he's the biggest paycheck. Nate Diaz wins tonight. Nate Diaz above all because he's the biggest paycheck, you know? And one of the fights that I would like because I think that goes down in history is something everybody here would pay their hard-earned money to see. So either one of those fights, I'm in, man. Okay, just two for me. Uh, you took that break from that reality show. How integral was that to coming back to this amazing experience? It seems like that time away that it helped out tremendously. It's like uh, you got a knife that's a little bit dull. Maybe it was just in the fire constantly, a little bit too long. I had to pull it back, sharpen it out. 
put it back in there. And I got to do that not on my body so much as my brain. A lot of things that I was going through on the regular, I cut them out, no longer even part of my life. I'm really good at like Jackie Chang with the no strings things, me too. All my past, a lot of it, no more strings, nothing attached to my negativity or nothing that they could pull me in that direction. So that's one huge thing I did. Man, he could shut me up right now. That's Joel, man. He's a ah, that dude's a dog. That's my boy. We're, that's my boy, man. Um, yeah, we got this bet going on. We're going hard since the start. Before he was coming in, I was telling him I'm gonna go do all this, and he's a witness to everything I've done. And I told him, and he told me the same shit back. He's like, man, I'm I'm gonna do some wild, impressive shit when I come back. So I'll tell you right now, I'm the biggest fanboy for Joel. I'm gonna be front row waiting for amazingness. You know, I hope he doesn't break my record in the way I do. You know. Okay, going back to Exxon, your teammate Valerie Moreno is obviously about to start the show. What was your advice for her? Um, don't get hurt was the first thing because the uh, you guys know Goyito, he's a 135, he used to be in the UC. I pulled him aside on his first day there. I was already there like two weeks, three weeks, and I told him, hey, this is not a fight. Go slow, you know, take these courses slow. Go like five to ten of them, and then you can hit the turbo on these motherfuckers. He was like, yeah, man, for sure. First thing he does is go balls out, breaks his ankle on the first one he has, the very first one that he has. So I told Valerie, just chill out, let it come to you naturally, and you'll get it. You know, it's pretty cool. You, know? you obviously never went head to head with Yoel on the show. I murdered him season. on that. He knows it. I got his. I got him on that. I'm too quick for him, man. He said you got. You guys had like a little parkour thing. You yeah, know, yeah, Not yeah. on the show. Can you tell us the story? He says you won. Can you tell us how it went down? Well, on, on that day I was just teaching him. We weren't competing. But if we were to get on the courses, I got him, man. I was. I was pretty damn good at that course. You know, every even the guys that that uh, stayed on long for the show, they know I'm a, I'm a problem in that thing. You know? Said it. Can we talk about that? Man? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Plead the fifth, my brother. And if people are wondering who am I asking, that's the other half of the circus show, Abraham Cowell. Like you said, infamous and fantasy. It's not real. It's supposed alleged events that happened that we owe a lot of money and some uh, nightclubs or whatever, some bouncers got beat up. I don't, I don't know if it's true, but I, I've heard that it, it might be. Maybe a script or something. A script, or maybe it was a movie role. I don't know, but that's all I could say on that. El que me traiga más dinero, mi hermano, y para todos los fans latinos que me ponen el primer día, gracias. Si no, si no fuera por ustedes, no estuviera yo aquí en frente del mundo entero ahora. El que ponga los más ceros para mi familia posible es el primero y el segundo es el que tenga el título. Quisiera, de tu boca a los oídos de Dios. Ya la impain. He asked basically the same questions y'all asked. Same thing. I promise. With uh, sir, yes, sir. How, how close are you guys with making your next deal with the UFC? Is it halfway there? We're working on it. We're working on it. The options, though, on the menu are delicious. I promise that, though. Bisping, I would say easily. I was getting ready for my tilt fight. We were in the same hallway, like we were gonna collide. And I'm thinking in my head, man, we're going right now. I, I'm gonna just go off Bisping. If we're throwing blows, we're throwing blows. And if not, not. And he was beyond cool. Just came up, didn't talk enough, just shook my hand and kept me moving. And that showed a lot to me, because he could have completely tried to throw me off my game. Not that he could have, but he could have tried to be a dick and, you know get in my head right before I fight his countryman, and he did the complete opposite. I just thought it was a gesture of uh, kindness and a lot of respect, you know? Well, I was wondering that night, he was over, he was over, he was over, Yeah, but yeah, then another incident happened. They put me in the cage because they were afraid for other safety, so yeah, you know, I didn't get to see him. What do you think your greatest strength is what separates you from the rest of the division, and what's gonna get you that belt? What is that strength? My heart. Guaranteed. 16 years I've been doing this pro. There's a lot of guys that quit five, six, seven years in there. I'm 
I'm here 16 years later. No steroids. Let's put that on all your motherfucking clickbait things. Masvidal on never steroid allegation. Never miss weight on a high level competition. Never backed out without an injury or nothing. God's watching over me, you know? So I would say it's my heart. 16 years to break that record on that day. That's perseverance. You know how many injuries I've had in 16 fucking just pro years? Four or five amateur years. You know how many injuries I've had and still showing up to work like this? And I ain't get paid for it back then, man. But look, I showed up like this, mouthpiece, hard hat, ready to go to work. I gotta get paid now. That's why all you motherfuckers is here. Cause what I say now sells. Cool. Pay me for that shit though.